Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in the previous video, we looked at how to calculate the length and the width to get the area. So I'll put the link in the description below. And also if you want to learn about the zoning and also about JUPAM, I'll put also the link to those videos in the description below. But what happens if the length and the width that we take from the Palantana is different from the area that's in the Palantana. So that's where we have in today's video. Like this video and subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for more real estate videos and content. So we have this lot here that we'll be focusing on. Okay, so now that we have cleared all the other information away, we have the length here and here and the width here and here. And then we know that the area is 0 0.550 acres. So now let's go and convert these acres to square meters and square feet. So we go to Google and then we type in 0 0.550 acres to square meters so we have here 2225.771 square meters and then we're going to convert it also to square feet from acres and then we have 23958 square foot okay so we know that the area is 0 0.550 acres and then we converted it to square feet so square feet it is 2225.77 square meters and then in square feet it was 23958 square feet okay and then we're going to take the width and the length here we're going to multiply them so we have 173.34 times 301.9 then we see here 52331.346 it doesn't add up to any of the numbers here. Then we take the other length and width here. So we have 343.50 times 173.08. And also the number here is bigger than these numbers here. So what's wrong with this unit of measurement here? So let's find out the different types of units of measurement. So in my blog here, I've written about measuring the Palantana and Garantana. You see here we have units for measuring length, area and the symbols in the plan. So I'll put the link here in the description below and you can use this for your reference and measurement use. So we go back to our plan here. So I've narrowed it down to ling to meter, rantai to meter and kaki which is feet in English to meter. So leave a comment below on the units of measurement and the palantana. So the answer is ling to meter. So one ling is equivalent to 0 0.201168 meters. So we're going to do the calculation. Okay, so we have a table here and then we know that one link is equivalent to 0.201168 meters. We we'll add in the length here and the width. So we we'll add in 173.34, 31.9, Okay, so we're going to just quickly do the formula. Take this time 0 0.201168. Six, okay, so we get this number here and then we're going to do similarly for the other numbers here and then we're going to quickly copy the formula. So these are the numbers converted from meter to length. Okay, so we're going to multiply this width by this length. So we have 2117.77 and then we have this other width and length. So of course the numbers will slightly run from the square meter in measurement here but they are the closest to the square meter after conversion so leave a comment below if you face a similar situation like this so i hope you learned something today don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel